Hello, just a quick video to say if you own one of these, yeah, any type of laptop, and you're wondering why the battery dies and is not very usable, it kind of comes down to how you use your laptop and how often you use your laptop. If you're not using your laptop regularly and charging it up fully and charging it, discharging it, if you're using it infrequently and you put it away when it's discharged, you are killing your lithium ion battery. They may not have told you this when they sold it to you, but you can take it from me, trust me, people in the model flying world, they all know this one. If you want to store lithium batteries for a long time, you do not discharge them to store them, and you do not keep them fully charged to store them. Both of those things are bad. If you wish to keep your lithium ion batteries for a very long time, you must charge them, discharge them at a normal rate to 50%, then take them out of the laptop, then put the battery in the laptop separately into storage. Then every month or so you should get that battery out, discharge it, charge it to the top and discharge it back to 50%. This is a safe way to keep your batteries going for a very long time. If you discharge the battery by leaving it in the laptop and it's trickling down, when it gets to zero, this kills the battery if you leave it for a long time. It has to be charged back up immediately. It should not be left at zero. This is the number one thing that people do. They leave the battery in the laptop and then they put it away after they finish discharging it worst thing you can do for a battery. It's the worst thing. Charge it up fully, leave it on, discharge it to 50%, take the battery out and store them separately. This will probably stay charged for about 12 months. Not guarantee, I'm not saying because mileage will vary, but this will stay charged for a very long time when it's not inside the laptop. But when it's in here and it's plugged in, it will slowly discharge because it's providing a little bit of power to the laptop to keep other things alive in the laptop, which you know we won't go into, but it's usually like extra batteries and little bits of circuitry that kind of take up a little bit of power. So just take it off, or if you can't be bothered to charge it to 100 and take it down to 50, if you can't be bothered to do that, just charge it up to 50. Charge it from zero to 50, then take it out, yeah? That's the, that's the lazy way to do it. But trust me, I've had batteries in my laptops. I've had the laptops seven years, never had a problem. I've had several laptops. I mean, I've got four laptops that I use for different things. They've got specific purposes. Never had a problem with the batteries. Why? Because I do what I just told you. And why do people say to me, my battery's not working. And I say, well, did you leave it in the laptop? And they're like, yeah. I'm like, okay. When did you last use it? Oh, I don't know, about three months ago. It's like, every time, every time, they're not designed to be fully discharged and left or fully charged and left. So now you know the secret. Tell your friends, because otherwise you're going to end up buying new batteries all the time. And for a machine, a laptop that's supposed to be able to re be recharged a thousand or two thousand times that battery minimum for the fact that you've used it a few times and it's died why is that happening it's because you aren't aware maybe the manufacturers didn't tell you but they don't care because they think oh he's going to come back and buy some more batteries off us yeah but ultimately the model industry knows this model flyers know this you do not store batteries long term. Look it up, see if I'm lying. Lithium ion, lithium polymer, lithium batteries, storage. What do they all say? They'll all say 
50%, some people will say 70%, but definitely not 100 and definitely not zero. No, those two ends of the scale are the worst things for your battery in storage. Using them between that regularly is good for the battery, yeah? Putting it in storage, it's got to be 50% or some people say 70. So anyway, I've told you now, go and do it. Take your batteries out if you're not using them. And another thing, ah, I nearly forgot, I nearly forgot, I nearly forgot. Don't leave the battery in the laptop permanently when you've got it connected to power because this percolates it. It's like taking beer and putting a hot, a hot element in it, yeah? And it gets hot, like a cup of tea, right? And after a week, you taste that beer after a week. <coughs> yeah, it ain't gonna taste good. Just remember that for your batteries. Don't percolate them. Don't percolate them. It's like stale coffee. It's like stale beer. Don't percolate your batteries. The reason they're in there and you plug them into power is to charge them up. When they're charged up, take them out. Again, take them out. When they're at 100%, you don't keep charging. Have you ever had a message on your phone? This is a, this is a clue for you. Have you ever, ever had a message on your phone that says, your phone is fully charged. What do they say next? Disconnect the charger. Why do they tell you to do that? If you could just leave it on there 24 seven. They tell you because it's a bad idea because you're constantly, 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 constantly charging a battery that's already fully charged. Bad for the battery. So if you've discharged your battery but you intend to use it on power permanently, charge the battery up to 100%, use the laptop, disconnect the power, take it out to 50, reconnect the power, take the battery out, put it in storage. You don't have to run your laptop with a battery in there when you're on power. It's bad for the battery. Like I say, okay, I'm a smarmy git, I know the secrets, but I have never had to buy a replacement battery for my laptops. And that to most people is like, what? What? My battery's always going on my laptops. Do you leave them in all the time? Do you leave it plugged in, in the corner, sitting there charging all night long, all day long for five days, 25 days for a month? You're percolating your battery. Just, just remember, would you like to drink stale coffee? You're keeping the battery charge. It's like keeping a heating element in the drink. It's going to taste terrible. So, go do it and save yourself some money and save the batteries and the planet. Thanks very much for watching.